Hi guys, this is Sarah Listy, part of ToolsInAction.com, and you are watching Tools in Action. Hey everyone, I'm John from Tools in Action. Today I want to introduce you to the Fish Wave Cutter Forstner Bits. But before we dive too deep into the specifics on these, I kind of want to talk about Forstner Bits in general, the different types, and what they're used for. First off, a Forstner Bit is used for cutting flat bottom holes in either softwood or hardwood. Now there's two other ways you can do this. You can either use a spade bit, but I usually consider this more of a construction or remodeling job uh, tool because you usually use it for cutting through two by fours. And it's a little less effective than Forstner bits for making a clean cut. Another way you could do it is with the CNC machine if you have one. Now that's the only three ways that I can think of. Now, the three different types of Forstner bits, the big difference in the Forstner bits is along the rim. As you can see here, this is a sawtooth bit and with the teeth, it looks like, you know, kind of like a, a bandsaw blade. It's got teeth that actually cut the edge of the, the cut the surface of the wood, and then you got the voids for the, everything to eject from. Another type is a knife edge bit. Now this one you can see has a knife edge and it's solid all the way around. So that's staying in contact with the wood surface at all times. The wave cutter bits are kind of a hybrid. As you can see, they have the knife edge of the knife bit, but they also have little valleys in between where the blade is not staying in contact with the wood the whole time, allowing it to stay a little bit cooler. Now let's get into the fish bits in particular. The fish bits are a forged bit made in Austria compared to like this cheaper set I have, which is cast steel. This is going to allow this thing to stay sharp longer and uh, just be a better performing drill bit in the long run. Now let's talk about the performance of these bits. The fish bits, they put a lot of technology and slight tweaks to their bits from their last set, um, allowing them to run longer before dulling out and at a faster speed. And they're even claiming that the faster speed allows the work to get done a little faster and prolongs the life of the, the, the bits. Um, one of the studies that they did was with a standard bit, they were able to drill something like 250 holes. And then with the fish bit, they were able to drill over 900 holes before they wore it out. Now, I'm not gonna try to replicate that here. I can just tell you the real world applications that I'm seeing. And <clears throat> I have been using this old set for years and just got a hold of these. Now this old set, the sawtooth set, almost instantly out of the box dulled. I was using it to drill um, holes for some, some bars that wanted me to make them, um, drink holders, and some other lights, uh, tea candle holders. And they dulled really bad. Every time I got done with them, they were super hot. The wood would smoke. Sometimes it would burn the wood. And it, this was great in the pinch. It was a very cheap set. And I've been using it, just beating the heck out of it. But to get good results, not impressed with them. <clears throat> now I started using these fish bits and I wanted to head, I wanted to go ahead and see how they stacked up versus these sawtooth bits. So I took it to the drill press, drilled my first hole with the sawtooth set and it got through. It gave me a, a final product that was okay. I was cutting through purple heart, which is very hard. Problem is it took a long time to do it. It built up a lot of heat and it was actually super hot to the touch when I got done. I put the fish bit in, same size, same material, and I was able to drill this hole a lot faster. Um, it was super clean, and when I got done, the bit was not hot at all. Matter of fact, I went ahead and drilled a third hole. After I got done with that, the sawtooth bit was still hot, even though it had been sitting out there. I went ahead and cut one with the knife edge bit as well. It's smaller because that's where it starts in my kit was at like three quarter inch. This one cut slow as well. Um, so 
the older bits, the cheaper bits didn't perform very well. One thing I neglected to say was I ran each one of these bits at a speed of 250 RPM on the drill press. I have a little guide that hangs on my drill press that has suggested speeds for the type and the size bits that you're using. I always keep this on my drill press and refer to whatever I'm cutting. I want to make sure it's performing the best. So each one was initially done at 250 RPM and the fish bits claim that they can run 25% faster. So that comes down to about 312 RPM, but the closest I can come, I believe on my drill press was 340 RPM. So I ran that at a faster speed and I want to see what would happen. As I was drilling the hole, I noticed it drilled really nice, just as fast, if not faster than the original 250 RPM speed. And when I got done, the bit was still nice and cool. It wasn't hot to the touch. The most impressive part of these drill bits is their ability to stay cool in my opinion. If you want to extend the life of your drill bits, you want to run them at the right speed on your drill press and make sure you control the heat. Once they get hot, they get dull and then they're no good. So these drill bits actually stay really cool even going through the hardest woods like Purple Heart and I think that's the big secret to them lasting a long time. Now. Let's be truthful on this. A full size 16 bit kit here, which I have, is not cheap compared to a junk set. Not cheap. But what I would suggest, and what I had started doing before this, is whenever I had a job that required a flat, uh, flat bottom hole, I would go out and buy individual bits. And you can buy the fish bits individually. That way, you know you've got a good one. It's going to last forever. And you can just chug away and get that same kit over time. The kit here comes with a really nice box with foam insert and it keeps them all nicely protected. You don't want to damage the edge. And um, overall, I really like these bits. I would venture a guess that I'm probably never going to need to buy another Forstner bit set ever again in my life. It's not like I do them every day, but with the long life, the ability to get rid of the heat and the forged bits. I can't see me wearing these out. I can't imagine putting 900 holes in of any one size. So if you want to buy, if you're looking at Forstner bits and you want something that's going to last your lifetime, take a look at the fish bits, whether it's in the case or individually. And until next time, I'm John from Tools in Action. Talk to you later. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.